I can't imagine that this is going to run very well, but this is my first, uh, my first trip to the moon since, uh, the, the update that we're on now, 016. Took me a while to get it to, because the Mac version was, uh, not able to update. No hard feelings, guys. I know it probably only affected about 12 people, but I was one of them, so, uh, I may have complained a bit on some videos. I apologise. Anyway, how close are we to the moon? Anyway, yeah, the new parts are pretty cool. I like these engines here. They keep things stable, because they all point out in a slightly different direction. This is a really hot tea. Anyway, as you can see, sending Trip, Grace and Gonzalo to the moon. Um, that's if I remember to put their pictures down there. <laughs> no. Um, alright. So. There's a little, there's a, there's a part in this game that you put on underneath your capsule that'll keep you pointed the right way when you press T. And they haven't built one that's big enough for these parts yet, so, uh, I'm flying at manual the whole way. New gears, yep, check. Nice. Very nice. I like the little animation they got. Um, okay, let's see. We'll send Bill out for a little trip. This I like. The fact that you can fucking walk around with them now. Oh, hang on. I put more ladders on there. Where'd they go? Oh, well. And even though I've got a lot of practice at driving around in space, I'm just going to go back in before I screw this up. Hang on. There he is. <laughs> I love him. Um... Oh, no, 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 don't let go! Oh, shit! Okay. Yep. How do you get in? F. Alright. Yeah, so as I was going to say, while I've had a lot of practice at driving around in space, the uh, system for controlling the little Kerbals with the little jetpacks, I'm not very good at it. I actually really suck. Which is a new experience for me, because usually I rocket absolutely everything. In this game, anyway. Oh, fuck, this is taking forever. We're going to be... Uh, let's try and do this without like, slamming into the surface. God bless time acceleration! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I believe it, I've done it! I've done it again! Hang on, wait a minute. Uh, if I force quit, I can load the quick save. <laughs> I can't believe I made such a fucking muggins out of that. Okay, hang on a minute. Following you! Okay, so hopefully... Hopefully we still have our guys. Okay. Escape trajectory out of the moon. That's not entirely accurate. Alright. Let's see if I can nail this without nailing my guys. Um, where are we? Alright. I was thinking it would be unique if I started to actually like... Because I, I put on goggles, goggles and a hat the other day for my racing video. And I thought a good way to make these videos more unique would be if I dressed up in a costume for each game that I do. Um, except for Tomb Raider, maybe. But, but, the idea, you know, it's kind of... I can't really do it because I can't find any good spacesuits on eBay. Like, they, they all look ridiculous. So, if anyone sees one, please let me know. Because <laughs> I think it would be so badass to actually dress up as an astronaut while I do this. <laughs> Call me crazy, but a bit of role-playing never killed anyone. Alright. Down under the dark and mysterious surface of the moon. Alright. What have we got? I sure hope the thing's, this thing's got enough thrust to uh, cancel my date with the surface. Or at least postpone it. Yeah, it's got a fair bit of grunt. But not so good for fuel consumption. Shit. Alright. I'll call that off for now. I mean, this has always lagged a little bit, uh, so I'm not expecting great performance here from my computer. So, when the time does come, I don't know what the next computer I get is actually going to be, because um, I don't use a Mac because of any sort of religious preference, you know, it's just what I'm used to. I could totally go with Windows if I had to, but I don't like the way Windows is headed either. I've seen screenshots of Windows 8, it just looks like a toy, it's so ridiculous. I hate how tablety everything is becoming. Like, it's just not necessary. I just want a computer to fucking do what I tell it to expediently. 
with a minimum of fruit fruit bullshit. That's why I still use XP. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Alright. I can hear them on the radio. That's actually a file I've built called uh, Kerbal Com Chatter. It's um, old Apollo recordings. Uh, with uh, some effect on them that makes them sound like that. It's very atmospheric. I feel like they are talking to me. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit. I'm not going to have enough feel for this crap. So, um... I really hoped this would be like my triumphant sort of I did it video, but um... First attempt and all that, but uh... It's really not looking that way. Alright. Okay, we're coming up on 10 kilometers distance from the surface. Yeah, we are bleeding off a lot of that speed though. Um, they need a landing radar that tells me what your actual distance from the ground is because uh, we have not got eight kilometers to go. It's quite a lot of the mood is mountains, and it doesn't factor that into the altitude usually. A bit of nerdy information for you there. Um, okay, we're just starting to see some ground clutter and rocks. Okay, this thing is seesawing madly because I haven't got any kind of stabilizer. Oh, okay, we're getting down to a nice safe speed now. Almost survivable, I'd say. Alright, let's cut some of that thrust. Yeah. I need to, uh... No, I don't. I've already done it. Uh, there was a great game a few years ago called... I can not do it. A great game a few years ago called uh, Eagle Lander. And uh, I'm a fucking pro at that one. So if you're wondering why I'm so good at landing on the moon, I owe it all to that game. This is, by the way, my first landing since the new update, so this could go badly. I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of control because of the extra engines, so uh, it's really... And it's not taking too much fuel, either. Just like the real thing. Except I deliberately didn't include an ascent stage in this thing, so uh, these guys are going to be stuck here once we land. Basically. Alright, here we go. 10 meters a second. Getting very close to the ground now. 7 meters a second. Oh my god! I need a co pilot. Where's David? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Okay, keep it level, keep it level. I'm starting to lag, what the hell? Oh, shit balls. I hate this. This is gonna be messy. Are we la Are we down yet? Oh, we're not down! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, fuck. Oh. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> oh, no. I don't auto save, now I can't. Oh. Put the legs in, hang on. Oh, wow. Look at that. Woohoo! We can use the gyros to get us back on our tail. Yep. And then put the legs out. Oh. Yes! There! Any landing you can walk away from, am I right? And there's the uh, Kerbal. Alright, who should be the first to step out? I think we all know who it's going to be. Alright, Jebediah. Are you ready for your big moment? Oh, the fucking thing's in the way. Can you get down past that engine? No. This is the worst design in history! <laughs> Alright, hang on a minute. Um, how do you do this? Oh! Yeah. That was one giant leap for fucking Jebediah, then he had to really... <laughs> He's so small compared to my huge capsule! I feel bad for sending him to the moon now. Alright. Oh, this rules! Yeah. <laughs> oh, funny he could salute his home. I'll do it for him. 
Awesome, huh? I'm really glad I did this. <laughs> what I like about this is the moon used to be a routine trip for me. I could do it in my sleep. But with all these new parts, it's actually kind of tricky, so uh, that added a bit of replay value, I think. Uh, can he use his jetpack? Um, how do we get back to the ship? Space Center, I think you have to, I think you have to go around the long way. Alright. That's pretty metal if you ask me. And again, we're going to find that he can't get down past the engine, but that doesn't really matter. Oh, he's walking on the- Oh no! <laughs> it's like the cartoons! When they step off the cliff and it's like- We're going to chill over here, we're going to have a little Kerbal picnic. Yeah, man. How you doing? Yo! Yo! <laughs> oh, pistols at dawn. Well, them helmets are bumping. That's not good. Now, what I'm going to try and do is get the ship to abandon them. <laughs> may, just, may seem a bit uncharitable, but... Um, yeah. Okay, the ladder's still extended. Let go! Let go! Let go! Oh no! <laughs> Where away it goes! <laughs> oh shit! I, how am I gonna get this guy down on the ground without killing him? I can't remember the controls. Is shift for up? Shift is up? Oh my god! Don't hit the ground too hard! I'm sorry, Bob! Whatever you want. Bill? Which, oh, he lived. Where the hell's the ship gone? Oh shit! Where the hell did the boat. <laughs> the boat. Hey guys! Did you see where the ship went? Shit, it's really moving too. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> oh no! Come back! Come back, ship! Boo! Yeah, it's gone. There's no track in that thing. Oh, I just saw inside my own mouth. It's giving me a perfect opportunity to organize some sort of rescue mission one day. Um, not that I can be fucked doing that right now. So what do you reckon, guys? Moon picnic. <laughs> He's moonwalking. Wow, look at it go. Let's not bring this sucker back. Hey, what the hell? It's supposed to still be burning off petrol. Oh well. So that's my first successful moon landing since the update. I feel pretty proud. I am. Um... Oh dear. There it goes. We're going in. Here comes the ground. Here comes the bus. <laughs> so this is the fucker that actually got me there. I'm surprised that it worked. I've been hearing about how difficult it is to make a ship in this thing, but um, mine's surprisingly robust. In fact, we're going to call it that. Robust. And, uh, yeah, not too many dramas getting there. Did think I was going to run out of fuel, but I made it. Yeah. So anyway, it's enough of that.